So last weekend, Pat and I attended an event that was sort of set up like a barbecue in somebody's backyard. And we had to drive an hour or so to get to this place. And it was with people that I used to work with and still do work with. So it was sort of like work because, of course, we talked about my job and their jobs and what's going on and whatnot. And, and um, anyway, it was nice to see everybody. It was nice to visit. And it was held outside, as I said. And those of you who know me, um, I'm not too keen on outside because it's outside after all. And I think it goes back to when I was a kid and growing up and um, had all those allergies that I had and almost anything that grows out there. Um, I used to be allergic to, so I was always sniffing or scratching or sneezing or whatever, and it was usually unpleasant. So it's a throwback from that. I don't have those allergies as badly as I used to, and, you know, I should probably just get over it, but outside is like where the bugs live, and that's not for me. Although I can cope. Don't think that I can't go outside, because I do. But that's not the point of the story. We were there, and we were sitting in the backyard, and it was uh, not terrific weather, and it was a little chilly as time went on, and it was raining a little bit off and on, but we were all protected under this great big tarp, so it was all right. And there were dogs running around, and the hostess and host were, uh, you know, getting ready for the barbecue and putting food together and stuff, and these three little dogs, uh, they were about, I don't know, maybe the double the size of a little Jack Russell, for example. And they were all running around in the yard, and that was nice to see, and it was funny to see them chasing the squirrels and whatnot, and until one of them, a little white fluffy, well, he wasn't so fluffy, he's very coarse hair, like, like a close-cropped poodle, about that size too, small poodle, um, came up to me with this cloth disc thing, dropped it at my feet, sat there and whined at me. And I looked at the thing on the ground, and I looked at the owner, and he said, just wants to play with you. And so I picked up the cloth thing, which was like a cloth frisbee, and it was torn, and it was wet and slippery and muddy. And I tossed the thing for the animal, and off it runs, and it uh, comes back and plays keep away with me for five minutes or so. And and uh, seemed quite happy about that, I guess, you know. And then the hostess brought out some food. And of course, I've got this wet, slimy, muddy stuff all over my hands, and I have to go in and wash. That's the problem with dogs, you know. So I go in and wash my hands, and I come back out, and we talk some more, and we watch the dogs run around some more. And then the hostess says, well, she was going to start putting things together for dinner. And I asked her if I could help, and so she said sure, and we went inside and um, told her that, you know, of course I don't cook, I have to take only directions, so tell me what to do. And so she asked me to sort out some stuff, and I was in the living room, and I heard this noise. She was setting stuff out on the dining room table, and we, everybody was supposed to come in and, and select their food and then go back outside and, and eat. And I heard this noise, and a sort of clicky, snorty noise, I turn around, and Joe's head was in the salad. In fact, he was standing on the table, using his nose to push lettuce leaves out of the way so that he could get the bacon in the Caesar salad. Joe, of course, is the little white poodly type dog that I was playing fetch with an hour ago. I was horrified. So I go running over to the table and I yell at him, which, you know, you shouldn't do in somebody else's house with somebody's dog. It's like disciplining a child that isn't yours. And I give him a shove and he shows me a tooth and I smacked the table and said, Good damn! And the hostess comes out, and she's a little horrified as well, happily, because, you know. And what does she do? 
she picks up all the lettuce leaves that had been tossed out by Joe because he didn't like the salad. He just wanted the bacon bits. And she put them all back in the bowl, and rearranged them in the bowl, and called everybody in to get their food. Needless to say, the Caesar salad was a little doggy to me. And later that evening, my Patrick said, What is that on Joe's face? Seems that it was the salad dressing. That's it, that's all.